presented by Caltech. Welcome to today's explorations of the future of science and its impact on society. Celebrating the quintessential scholar and citizen, Ahmed Zouel. Ahmed has had influence and impact both in science and also in a societal way. His remarkable scope ranges from exploring the minutest interactions of particles to engaging the complexity of global politics and culture. Ahmed is someone who never has average goals. If he's going to try something, he's thought critically about the importance of the problem. He has been able to, to watch reactions as they occur on the time scale of a millionth of a billionth of a second. The Nobel Prize in Chemistry came in 1999 for his development of the field of femtochemistry, and everything changed. What do you do after you get the Nobel Prize? It's my choice, but hopefully it's a choice that will make an impact. At Caltech, you dream, and you dream big, and the sky is the limit. He gave me a title, The Future of Medicine. Are there ways to increase human longevity? The future of, of medicine will include us trying to fight off the ravages of age. The battle for basic science will never be won, but clearly it must be fought in every generation. What we thought was that the basis of wealth and the ability to build wealth over time was natural resources. It turns out the basis of wealth is people. Now, I'm sure that when you were young and were learning to do things in the kitchen, that your parents told you that you should never, ever, ever put a closed container of liquid into the oven. Whoa! Oh, fantastic! What are the grand challenges in quantum information science? It's to build complicated quantum systems from the ground up. By doing that, we will realize in the laboratory physical systems that just have not existed in nature before. When you think about it, it's absolutely amazing. How did it start from those particles? And here we have this beautiful world which is around us. And the most important part is after all that evolution, we got the happens a while. On behalf of Caltech, uh, we have gotten a gift, which I think is unusual. It's the only book published by Benjamin Franklin during his lifetime. It's a measure of Franklin's, the respect he had for his science and his effect on society. I'm so touched, I don't know what to say. For president, the provost, my friends, my colleagues, uh, and you all, I have been very fortunate to spend 40 years at this great institution. Thank you very much.